I got a question for you guys, and I want you guys to be honest. You can say it out loud, you can pause the video, you can leave it in the comments below. $500,000 or the option to delete Hassan Piker from the internet and anyone who's ever been brainwashed by him to become a normal human being again. What do you prefer, the $500,000 or Hassan Piker gone from the internet for good? So the last time we talked about Hassan on this channel was like two, three months ago when he was doing and saying some crazy dumb stuff, which to be honest, it's something that he does on the daily. It always blows my mind when I see a Hassan Piker fan in the comment section on Twitter. Hassan could straight up murder a little kid and his brain dead NPC audience will be like, yeah, Hassan, you did him a great favor. Yeah, thank you, Hassan. Please continue to murder more kids. Hassan could straight up eat a dog live on stream and his audience will find a way to defend him. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because this YouTuber called Willie Mac Show, who I haven't heard of till recently. I mean, I've been watching his content for about a month now. He recently just dropped a new video and I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm pretty intrigued by it. Hello, comrades. I recently wrapped up a video series covering the worst political streamer, Hassan Piker. And whenever I wrap up a series like this, I like to do a bit of a retrospective to see if anything has changed. And when it comes to our favorite lol cow, Hassan, no, he hasn't changed anything despite getting massive pushback from outsiders as well as his own fans. In fact, he's done the exact same things just this past week. So I'm going to play Professor Willy and I'm going to test Hassan to see if he's improved on any of the things I've criticized him for. Spoiler alert. I don't think so. And this is coming from someone who's hated Hassan, not even dislike him. I genuinely hate this guy. Hassan is everything wrong with Twitter and everything wrong with internet people like him who have this savior complex who thinks they're better than anyone else. And I don't even want to bring up the whole, you know, he's a socialist, yet he has a car that's worth 250K and he has like a $3 million house in LA, but that's our socialist guys. He gives back to the people and the way he gives back is with his content. Yeah, you know, he's really healing the world. No, he's straight up making the world and the internet a worse place. Hassan says you're radicalizing people you're pushing people into this you're making them right wing you're making them all of these other things he's doing the same exact thing and I don't know how anyone takes this guy seriously straight up he's a goofball does he react to content fairly now has he covered news stories accurately and has he become a little bit more self-aware when it comes to him not abiding by fair use laws stealing content it's the same old story he gets up and leaves mid video letting it play to the finish while he's not even there people were originally angry with me that I didn't use enough new examples of Hassan getting up while the video was still playing well to the surprise of only hassan fans he has done this every single day since my video has come out not once did he pause the video when he left he always unpauses it he's great in other words so he won a huge victory yesterday in Argentina's presidential election. It doesn't matter if he's reacting to the news or other people's YouTube videos. He's not putting in the minimum effort when it comes to properly following copyright law. No wonder this guy has all of the wrong information from every angle possible because he doesn't even watch the video. He's one of those people who will see one minute of your video. And if in that one minute you can grab this fucking idiot's attention span because it's you know long gone, he will pause the video let the rest of it play, go take a shit and then come back and then be like, I disagree with him. I think he's kind of a bigot idiot asshole imbecile you know the typical language that guy uses and you know what it actually starts making sense and it starts adding up why most of the time he has no idea what he's talking about because he doesn't watch the videos he goes out and vapes behind the camera or he's probably seeing his bank account just seeing and laughing he's like i tricked all of these idiots to give me money and they think i'm a socialist and i'm getting away with it that's crazy he's probably laughing fans are making fun of him saying chair camp calling everyone a horrible person who calls him out for it chair camp i love seeing chair like it's it's there's gonna be a lot of like weird trolls that come in here today and and just like repeat stuff that i've said as though it's an own because they're just objectively bad people i hate this fucking attitude not just from hassan but all of these other fucking people who are close to him who make similar type of content when you don't blindly agree with these people they're like they're just actually horrible people. They're bad. They're evil. Unlike people like me. If I see a comment that says, you know what, sensitive, that last video was not it. Or I don't agree with you here because this, this, and that. It's just stupid for me to be like, I, oh, actually you're wrong and now I'm going to ban you. You can't leave a comment ever again. You're banned. That's so unproductive and that's how you don't dialogue and interact with your audience or just as a human being overall. Like, how are we supposed to get better? How are we supposed to improve that when someone criticizes us, we're like, 
We don't want to hear it. You're a hater. You're trolling me. You're toxic. You're a bigot. That's not how to go about it. That's that's the worst way to go about anything. You're supposed to look at that criticism and be like, yeah, you know, that kind of hurts. But I mean, I think you're right. I think you're right. I got to do something about it. And that's how you move on, evolve. The sound and eyes debate centered around his poor news coverage where he jumps wildly to conclusions before getting the full story and then never apologizing or correcting the story when he's wrong. Instead, he shifts the goalposts. He's done this multiple times with Ukraine, Iran, Israel. I've uploaded two other videos covering this in detail if you want to catch up. Point is, he's done it again. He couldn't go one week without misreporting a story. On Twitter, a video went viral, 8 million views, showing a Palestinian Palestinian kid get yelled at by Israeli police. The tweet was captioned, Ahmad was kidnapped eight years ago when he was only 13 years old. This leaked video shows Israeli officers interrogating him. This is how Israelis treat Palestinian children. Israel kidnapped over 880 Palestinian children in 2023 only. Hassan would immediately quote tweet this saying, Indefensible monsters. Getting another 5 million views and over 75,000 likes. Now Hassan just made it seem like Israel kidnapped this kid for no reason. They're monsters. But if you just take two seconds and Google his name, you'll see that he was running around holding knives with his 15 year old cousin his cousin stabbed a 13 year old israeli boy and another 21 year old before getting shot by a dude he also tried to stab the boy in the video was then stopped after getting hit by a car that is not the same as this kid getting kidnapped by the idf he was arrested and convicted for attempted murder he's on video i'm not one to touch you know these kind of uh i guess political things because no matter what i say i'm going to piss one side off i don't think anyone really cares what i think about this situation right but i will say this hassan and a lot of people on twitter not only love to push misinformation whether it's right or wrong it's whatever twitter thinks it's okay and they're like okay we're gonna we're gonna that's that's our champ right there we're gonna push with that even though they might be right or they might be wrong hassan is known for this not only for this situation that's going down but for all of the other ones he has ever covered and then people see that and they run with it when that's completely cap when it takes two seconds like willie said to <laughs> to look it up it's not that hard and hey i'm not saying people can't make mistakes but hassan does this on purpose how can anyone take this guy seriously hassan doesn't care to add any of that crucial context because the truth does not matter to him may i remind you this is the same guy who says he does a better job at reporting than most news outlets i am not uh, held up by the same journalistic standards even though i think i do a much better job than most other news outlets in uh, in general i responded to him with amazing journalism hassan and his response to me is exactly what I've been criticizing him for. He demonizes me, moves the goalpost, and then continues to get the story wrong. You think it's okay to torture and extract a confession out of a 13-year-old? You depraved freak? He's making it sound like I love torturing kids. People like Hassan who make everything worse for everyone and it just confuses more people. It's already hard enough with the amount of information people are consuming, people are getting Twitter, see engagement, and they love to promote shit and they don't even care if the shit's real or not. They just want to get it out there because it get a lot of likes it's so shocking to me that there's people out there who will defend hassan with their life and be like hassan did nothing wrong hassan is just a straight up honest journalist who wants to save the world if you think like that i'm sorry but you deserve to be bullied hassan has been misreporting stories going on two years now and his twitch audience has been dwindling because of it and due to his demonization of other people for having different points of view he lost his biggest avenue to new viewers being the leftover podcast people are saying rip leftovers um yeah yeah probably the whole fucking thing was such a disappointing horrible experience how it ended i just know the stuff that people were saying about me was just bananas yeah i don't know not worth it it's just not worth it he's now had so many streamers and youtubers laugh at his poor coverage that his number is only going to keep dropping how could you seriously take this guy well seriously this guy is just the worst it gets when it comes to twitch streamers and i don't know how he hasn't been banned from twitch if i'm not mistaken misinformation on youtube i mean at least on youtube okay i don't know about twitch but on youtube misinformation is against tos and hassan has done that for over two years with big videos like these it's just a matter of time before people become more aware of how bad he is as a human being as a content creator he's not good at anything he can report he can't entertain. He can't do anything. He's just bad at everything he does. IDF didn't bomb the hospital? Yes, it did! Yes, it did! Attack on U.S. consulate in Iran yes, happening mom. now? False flag. 100%.
MEK false flag. When I say MEK, I just mean CIA. It, I said MEK, but I mean CIA. Yes, you do have that same ignorant level of confidence. That's why you're always getting called out for being wrong. You know what? Do yourself a huge favor. And uh, if you watch Hassan or if you're subscribed to him on Twitch, if you're giving him money, I highly recommend you stop doing that and that uh, you subscribe to this channel. It's better.